All right, so quick knee sleeve video today talking about getting on the stiff sleeves and more importantly, getting off the stiff sleeves. I'll give you a little bit of context afterwards and talk about why I do the things I do, but this is the method that I've found to work the best for stiff knee sleeves, especially the cone style. So first, getting them on, very similar to how you'd get on any other tight knee sleeve. You put them on your leg, you're going to roll the bottom up. Because a lot of these stiff sleeves, the material is more stiff as the name implies, you probably aren't going to be able to roll these as high as you typically would with a softer style sleeve. Normally I'd say roll the bottom up about halfway. In this case, just a couple of inches is good. You then roll the top down accordingly until you can meet the bottom of wherever the bottom sleeve is rolled up to. So you're left with something that looks like this shape. You then get your fingers on either side, making sure the sleeve is centered Straighten your leg as you pull up to your knee. Once here, you can unroll the top or unsnap it in this case. Same with the bottom and you're good to go. Now getting these sleeves off can be a little bit difficult, especially after you've been training in them for a little while when sweat builds up, if you have hairier legs, maybe you're getting swollen from drinking a lot of salt during your workout, I don't know, but they can be very difficult to get off. Now, normal intuition will tell you, you would take them off the same way you put them on, which is to roll the bottom up, the tops down, and then pull or push them off your leg. What I've come to find out is because the material is so dense and it doesn't have much give, that is not the best option, especially when dealing with a cone style sleeve where the biggest portion at the top and it tapers down to the smallest portion at the bottom. The reason I say that is, as I've already mentioned, this is a very stiff and rigid material, and even getting this to roll up at all when already in a very tight spot, it's very difficult to do. So I'm struggling here, and I've only pretty much got it up maybe three quarters of an inch, whereas initially when I was around my ankle and more room, I had more space, I don't have as much room to play, and this material is not as stretchy as what you'll see in other sleeves. So doing it this way is actually a little bit of a negative because I'm basically doubling up the tightest part of the sleeve, which makes this extremely hard to move. When you're trying to take off these sleeves, your goal should be to move the tightest portion down first, and then everything opens up and makes it easier. So for me, what I found the easiest way to get these off is you fold the tops down, so you have about roughly an inch or so of real estate on the bottom. The reason I don't like to go further than this is sometimes depending on how tight and rigid these sleeves are, if you pull this down even further, and as you're getting in here to trying to work this, you can run into a couple of options. Number one, the first intuition would be grab the sides here and pull these down, which could potentially work, and I have had this work. For me though, again, it gets tough because everything's tight in here and stuff starts to double up. But also when people have issues with sleeves ripping, this is where I think a lot of the problems come in is when you're pulling the material. So pushing works well, but grabbing and pulling, especially as you're grabbing some of the flimsier type material towards the top that's not as reinforced or at the bottom and trying to pull it down forcefully against some sort of pressure like I have here on my calf, this is where things can start to rip in terms of the seams. So what I like to do again is I keep this so you see a little bit of the bottom sleeve underneath and use one of two methods. One is the double thumb method. So you get your thumbs, you stick them both in the front and start to push down because again, you're pushing against the bottom lip here, the tightest portion, and you'd work the front, then work the back, and would continue to do that, and you might not feel like you're getting a lot of progress, but after just a few pushes or pulls, depending on how you feel, they come right off, right? So let me try to get this back up. Oh, God. That's one way. The other way would be using your fingers. I don't like to use this method as much because it tends to be a little bit more awkward in terms of getting your fingers in there. This is a tight fit. It could be potentially a one finger job, but what I've found is because of the stiffness of these and how hard they are to get off, using one finger, especially in this manner, can lead to your fingers getting jammed, which is not fun. So for me, the thumb method works really well, and these sleeves can even make it down my big calves. Now, when we take a look at some of the other sleeves, like for instance, these ergonomically shaped sleeves or the ergo sleeves from Inzer, these are actually the Hansu brand ones. The tightest portion is usually more around the knee, 
So if you need to fold up the bottoms here, it could work. I still like to use the method that I've listed just because again, it helps push the sleeves and you're not going to end up pulling them. Now, as I've mentioned before, these things are super stiff. To give you an example, I'm gonna show you some differences in how much actual bend these have. So here I have the Pioneer sleeves. I'm going to grab with two fingers on either side and just try to stretch it out horizontally. You can see there's not a ton of give necessarily, but if I show you a similarly sized stoic sleeve, so this is actually even smaller, but let me just show you exactly how much these give. So much more play here and how much you can stretch these. So that's why you're able to manipulate these a lot better. You can size these down a lot better, take them off pretty much any way you want. But for me, double thumb method, getting them on and off makes this much easier. Let me know if you have a better way in the comment section below. I will note that some people have used bags or straps. I don't like to use that just because if you look at some of the rule books for competitions and federations that you might compete in, it says you have to be able to do it unassisted. So that means hands only, my friends. Not that someone would probably call you that on a local or state level meet, but just better safe than sorry in that instance. So let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.